The National Committee on United States-China Relations hosted a forum at the New York Stock Exchange on January 7th to assess China's economic prospects for 2013. The event featured a number of prominent Chinese economists. Justin Lin, a Peking University professor who formerly served as the World Bank's chief economist, predicted growth in China this year of 8% to 8.5%. While the Chinese economy faces challenges into sustained rapid growth, Lin believes China's new leadership understands these well enough so that the goal can be reached. But certainly, as I said, Chinese government is a very pragmatic government in the sense that they know the troubles. They know the direction for the changes. But they need to pace the reform according to the condition in international economy and also condition in the domestic economy. And a marginal reform certainly means it may not be as rapid as you hope. But cumulatively, I think China move you know, a long distance from the planning economy. China is very close to a well-functioning market economy. Qin Xiao, chairman of the Hong Kong-based Bo Yuan Foundation and a member of the 11th Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, alluded to the origins of China's economic reform and their impact today. To establish a modern society has been uh, the ultimate goal of China's reform and opening up since the later 1970s. Qin also cited a litany of challenges to maintaining strong growth. The growth model with the emphasis on the scale and the speed faces constraints regarding the environment, resources, and energy. Lin told reporters that China's continued economic growth is also a boon to the U.S. economy. And China is the largest market for the U.S. And so that means that dynamic economic growth in China is important for the U.S. to resume its dynamism for the U.S. to create a job in the U.S. domestic market. And I do think that economic rationality will prevail both in China and in the U.S. Derek Bosco reporting from New York.